honestly this feels so weird filming it's been so long oh my god <laughs> hey guys oh my god guys it has been forever so i just thought i'd do a little intro to this video so if you are new to my channel my name is charlotte and i am a travel vlogger so as you may have guessed by the title of this video i am off to madeira for a little holiday i have not been on a plane in over a year and guys that kills my soul so i'm so excited you will not believe and it's not a solo trip my friend Bo, who you might remember from my prague vlogs if you're not new to this channel is coming with me so it should be so much fun a little girls holiday we're staying in a hotel called porta mare which is in the capital city of madeira which is called fun chow i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right fun chow fun chow i'm not sure We'll hopefully be doing some excursions, a few things I've seen that we'll probably book when we're there, go look around the town, maybe go to a beach and most importantly chill by the pool because I think both of us just really need that and just want the sun. Oh, I mean look out my window right now, it is pouring rain so bring me the sun please. Right, I better go to bed because my flight is at half six in the morning. Oh, not gonna lie doesn't sound appealing but i'm going on holiday so that is going to get me through the day so i'll see you guys in the morning bye hotel i am looking seriously disheveled because the flight was at half six this morning but i will show you our room while it is still tidy so let me just turn this around so as you can see bo's just testing out the bed <laughs> this is our little bed situation and we've got this nice little table and chairs with some lovely water which I will be drinking ASAP and then if you can see we've got this lovely balcony with a sea view look at that sea oh my god that looks so nice I mean we do have a view of the car park but we've got the sea that's all that matters Madeira is just beautiful so many hills and mountains and we also got this desk area with a mirror standard and a tv little thing to put our suitcases on i'm guessing and then there is tea and coffee facilities 
safe and then a mini bar which I don't know if there's actually anything in here I know it's empty but oh that's so nice oh that's so nice and cool um so yeah that'll come in handy and then oh and then obviously we've got a wardrobe just your standard wardrobe and then this is our bathroom and then there's moi hello um we have got rituals products which is amazing i think this is a body lotion i love rituals ritual of karma definitely will be trying that so this is the sink area and then we got the lovely bath with a shower we also got some bathrobes which are great because i love a bathrobe sort of stand around in a towel not about that life and then i think that's shampoo conditioner and a body wash which is rituals as well <laughs> there's also an sos thing just in case anything happens whilst having a shower <laughs> so the hotel also left us some little chocolates or sweets i'm not sure when if it'll focus it doesn't want to focus okay um hella cream i'm not sure exactly what it is but we'll find out that's really cute of them to leave that and then we've got this humongous map of the hotel because this complex is pretty big but i'll definitely have to show you the pool area because that is what sells this hotel because it looked amazing on the website so once we go down there i'll show you guys and then we're in this little area here i think and then yeah we'll have a little explore later i think we're both dying from uh having an early flight <laughs> So I don't know what we're going to do at this very moment, but probably maybe have a nap. Poe <laughs> looks half asleep already. <laughs> uh, but um, once we do something, I will check back in with you guys. I mean, do you think we've got enough shoes for four nights? <laughs> we've literally got the exact same amount as well. That's so funny. We are crazy. We just like options. So we've come to the little pool bar for some lunch. I've got a Caesar salad with some fries because absolutely starving. What did you get, Bo? Um, Ava, no, what is that? Vegetarian sandwich. Looks very nice as well. And yeah, we're just near the pool. It's really nice outside. I'll have to show you later, but for now, bon appetit.
Let's go and see the view this morning. Oh, don't you just wish you could just wake up like this every day? So we've just come down to have some breakfast. It's a little bit carb heavy this morning, but I've got some fruit and some apple juice. But look at my current view. What a beaut. Hey everyone, so it is day two of our holiday in Madeira. Literally yesterday evening was a write-off, wasn't it, Bo? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> evening yesterday was a write-off, wasn't it, Bo? It actually was. There she is. <laughs> yeah, we literally was knackered. Do not do a half six flight, it is just not worth it. Even though you get here really early, you end up just wanting to fall asleep so we actually ended up having a room service dinner and we had a nice night's sleep and then as you saw we had a lovely breakfast which was good and then we've just been chilling around the pool most of the day and yeah just hanging out having lunch and all that fun holiday stuff so now we're going to head into the old town of Fonchao which we haven't been to yet so we're excited to do that Bo's just getting her jewellery on, a nice little outfit. I've got, I don't know if I can show you my outfit, wait a minute, two seconds. So I've got this dress on from ASOS, which I think is the collusion, um, what do you call it, ASOS brand, which was super cheap and it's really comfortable. And then I've also got on my, where are these from, Aldo sandals, which are so comfy. And just a little hairband, some earrings, and yeah, we are ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Okay, dinner has arrived and I don't think I've had enough bread so I've gone for a pizza. Uh, been a bit basic and just gone for a margarita. Bo's got a pasta and then this is our view sitting outside. And there's a little courtyard. Very cute. Morning, guys. So it's day three of our holiday in Madeira and we are in Harbo de Lobos which is just a town outside of Funchao. I just wanted to show you these, I don't know if you can see, like, I might have to turn the camera around. But, they're like these jellyfish things hanging from the ceiling, which is really cool. And then you've got this beautiful view of these little boats. 
the sea. It's a really cute little town. So basically, I didn't actually explain what we're doing today because this morning was such a rush. It was, it was quite hard to get up this morning. We had to be ready for nine and yeah, I'm not a morning person. Yeah, we're both not morning people, so it was hard, I'm not gonna lie. So we are on a tour of the west of Madeira for the day. I think it finishes at five, but this is the first stop off Cabo de Lobos. And we've got half an hour here, so we're just gonna have a little explore. Oh, it's getting sunny now. But look at the sea. Oh, it's just so nice to be by the sea. This is beautiful, guys. It's just so nice here. Good morning, Bo! <laughs> Are you enjoying the tour so far, even though I just started? Um, I am. It's nice to see uh, this, like, other parts of Madeira and the banana trees. It's yeah, we saw the banana trees. trees this morning as well. Yeah. The driver was going pretty quick, so I couldn't actually get a lot of content. But, oh my god, look at this sun coming out. This is absolutely beautiful. And there's the little boats. Let me zoom in for you guys so you can see properly. Just the scenery here. Uh, <laughs> but I was just singing, I do you like to be beside the seaside, it just made me laugh. Um, yeah, what's I saying? Here are the boats. And the little jellyfish hanging down. So random, but I'm kind of loving it. this 17th century church it's beautiful look at the floor let's see if we can go inside mad it's like dry ice like when you drive through it it literally oh, it looks like a volcanic mist but it's just amazing but look at this imagine driving around here every day it's a lot colder up here as well Taking a little photo. 
Um, it is absolutely beautiful here. Like the sea is so blue. I think it's going to be cold though. We're considering <laughs> whether to go in or not. But I think we will. But yeah, it looks cold because it's definitely the Atlantic Ocean on this side of the island. As well. It looks fun. So yeah. And here we have Bo in her natural habitat, going in to the deep blue sea. Oh. Half an hour later. <laughs> Is it cold? <laughs> I knew it was going to be freezing. I'm just uh, waiting for my sun cream to sink in. I don't want it to wash off. So, but I was testing it first. <laughs> freezing? vlogger every night I'm like I'm gonna finish this vlog for today and then I end up not doing it and I have my camera in the safe so yeah not good but it's the next day it's our last full day in Madeira yesterday's excursion was so good what did you think Bo your mm. thoughts on uh oh, the excursion that was really good yeah I thought the tour was really good I loved going up into the mountain. It was so, like, it was such an amazing view. And I also loved Porto Moonas. Um, yeah, that was really good. We really enjoyed yeah, that. Even though it was freezing and I was literally like wet myself <laughs> laughing when Bo got in there. There was a point where she literally jumped out because it was a massive wave. It was so funny. So we booked with the Madeira Happy Start Excursions. I'm just checking on my phone that that's correct. That is correct. And it was £22 each for literally a whole day, nine to five, full on whole day. You don't get lunch included, but we found somewhere to eat even though we was literally rushing. <laughs> Honestly, we rushed breakfast yesterday and then we rushed lunch, we just ran out of time. Um, but yeah, they stop at so many places. The guy was really informative about the island that he just knew so much stuff and like when we was driving he was telling us about loads of different things and also I looked at Tui for the same excursion and it was 44 euros so it was basically half the price of what Tui are charging so I would highly recommend that company and yeah we learned quite a lot didn't we mm. like they told us about like their um, rum that they have which is poncha I haven't tried it yet, but apparently it is sugarcane rum with lemon and honey, which sounds amazing. We'll have to try that today, maybe. Um, and they make like a honey cake. Talk about how many bananas they grow here. And I didn't realise that a lot of their plants are imported. When we got high up in the mountains, that was where all their natural stuff was growing. But a lot of the stuff like lower down, they import. And also animals, they've only got... Do you remember what he said, but was it just birds and lizards, I think, were the only things that actually are from Madeira. Like, a lot of their animals are imported, like cows and I don't know what other animals they've got here. I didn't see it. We literally saw so many cows, but, oh, cats. I've got loads of cats here as well, which I love because I love cats um, and dogs. And, yeah, there's no, like, big animals here, they said, so... And even like the insects, I'm gonna say, I didn't see a lot of insects. Like there's been a few flies, but nothing like ridiculous. So it's really nice. Um, but yeah, as I said, he was very informative. So I would highly recommend the tour. It takes you all around the West cause it was a West tour. Um, and then the last stop in the West is Porto Monis, which is this little seaside town, which has this amazing Lido as you saw and yeah would highly recommend that we also found it so weird that on the north side of the island it's so much more cloudy and misty compared to the south where we're staying like it's so sunny here and then like you'll literally drive half an hour to the north and it's so <laughs> different it's just yeah it's weird but i did read that madeira have their own climate and like one side of the island could be pouring rain the other side 
it's like super sunny even though it's like so close together um but yeah it was a really good tour so if you're coming to Madeira definitely check that particular company out because 22 pounds you can't go wrong really can you so our plan of action for today when we can get moving and after we've done our passenger locator forms as annoying as they are um we are going to go to the cable cars in Funchal and go up to Monte which is on one of the mountains I think and there's like a beautiful um tropical garden up there that we're gonna have a little explore around so that should be good and um yeah and then obviously come back down we might have a look around the town again because I don't think we'll have time tomorrow because we're leaving tomorrow boo um and yeah so we'll just play it by ear after the cable cars so hopefully we should have a lovely day i'll bring you along with me so you can see the gardens and the cable car and yeah let's go and have a nice last day in madeira yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can tell I've never been on a cable car. Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> gardens at the top of the cable car stop which is called Monte or Monte I'm not sure how to pronounce it but it's one or the other um, and it's just beautiful it's like the oriental garden part I think and these little sort of Japanese style walkways which are really cute Bye. are you loving it so far <laughs> yeah, we're going to keep exploring and see what else we find. So we've just come to this little cafe and we've got three glass, little shot glass of Madeira wine, so we're going to taste test it. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Hopefully it's nice. Mm. 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 <laughs> it's actually okay. It's a bit like brandy or something. Yeah, it's not like wine you'd have at home. It's um, yeah, it's kind of like yeah. it's like a sort of honey or something. Yeah, like a yeah, it's like a liqueur more than yeah. than wine. <laughs> it's a, it's just the kick, but it actually has a nice taste. Strong though. So, guys, we've come for dinner at the hotel. We're just by the pool, it's a bit dark, so you probably can't see. 
but I may have gone overboard on the dessert. It's like a buffet style meal and I just couldn't resist. I just wanted to try everything. I think this is like, it looks like a creme brulee, but I think it's like a fruit mousse and then it's like brownie. I think this might be the same thing that I picked up. I'm not sure. And then there's this thing in a glass, which looks like a little, I don't know, like a posset, would you call it? A bit dark, so you probably can't see it as well, but it's like chocolates on there. And there's this little pastry cup, and then I have no idea what this is, but I just want to try a little bit of everything. Um, yeah, I'll let you know what I think. So, I've been defeated. <laughs> I would say this was the best one. It was like an orange creme brulee, which was delicious. These basically same thing, which stupidly I picked up twice. It's a brownie, which was really nice. Very rich though. And these, I would say, were a no from me, but they're okay. But yeah, I just, uh, I just like desserts, guys. I just had to try a few things. So they have taken most of the bits away, but. I thought I'd just give you a quick scan of the buffet that we just had. Here's some of the desserts. This is why I struggled choosing because they look really nice. But yeah, it was really lovely. So that was our last dip in the pool, sad times. But we thought we'd just come down these steps because we haven't actually been down here yet and see what this actually is. Oh, this is really cute. It's like a little courtyard. This is cute. So if I get married, the ovens. Yeah, they're cute. <laughs> This is so nice and peaceful. I wish we knew about this. We could just come down here and chill and just, I don't know, you can meditate down here. It's so peaceful. Well, this is really nice that they've got this in the hotel. Like literally, this is by the main pool, like opposite the main pool, there's these steps. Look at all the pretty flowers. So at breakfast, we had these cute little mini pastel donatis. Now, if you're coming to Portugal or a Portuguese island, you have to have one of these if you haven't had one before because they are amazing. Normally you can get a big one, but these are like miniature ones, which are super cute and so nice. The pastry, I don't know how they get it so crunchy. I've tried to make them at home and it just didn't work. Um, but yeah, they're just amazing. Definitely get one if you come to Portugal. It's home time. Oh, I'm so sad. I don't want to go. Bye, balcony view. Oh, do I have to go home? Look at this sky. Oh, I just love the sunshine. Bye. Say bye to the room. Are you sad, Bo? I'm very sad. We're Just really sad. On the balcony. <laughs> we love that balcony. Even though we didn't actually sit out there that much, but um, it was so nice. Ah, <sighs> but things that are good have to end sometime. Hopefully, we'll come back one day. But for now. It's time to go home.
and so I'm finally back from my trip not gonna lie I've been back for about a week and a half but I thought I'd take the time now to finish off this vlog if you've got this far thank you so much for tuning in I really appreciate it honestly I had so much fun me and Bo just had the time of our lives living our best lives um yeah we just really needed it I think if you love to travel just getting on a plane especially with the climate we're living in at the moment the fact that we can get on a plane now and go and just visit places you've never been to it just oh i just absolutely love it and to be honest the actual covid situation at the airports wasn't too bad i'm a very organized person when it comes to traveling i think it comes from my mum because she worked in travel for so many years that i had all the paperwork ready i had my vaccination certificate i had my travel insurance i had my boarding passes had my mask that's all i needed really and then obviously going to madeira i didn't need a test going out i only needed a day two test coming back which with tui i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you the real tea guys it was only 20 pounds so that was amazing because i've heard through other people going away that it cost them a fortune so tui thanks for the discount um talking about tui while i'm on the subject of tui i honestly never flown with them before never done a package holiday with them before but honestly they were amazing and honestly guys i'm not being paid to say this this is not an ad i just thought they were great i've flown with a lot of different airlines and done a lot of different package holidays in my time and they are definitely top of the list i'm not gonna lie i would definitely fly and book a holiday with them again flights were on time transfer to the hotel was on time was really quick hotel experience was fab coming home was good yeah top notch <laughs> top notch i also had an amazing time staying at hotel porto mare would highly recommend one thing i would say is it is catering to an older crowd to be honest <laughs> which is absolutely fine absolutely fine because we was out and about most of the time but if i am going to be spilling the real tea is that for people 30 and under I would maybe go to a different hotel if you're wanting that sort of young experience but if you're wanting something more chilled and you don't mind the older crowd then absolutely would recommend Porto Mare. I mean I would stay there again I'm in my 30s I wasn't there to like party hard I was there to like have a nice chill time overall i had an amazing time in madeira i cannot wait to go back and experience some new things that i didn't get to do this time guys if you've never been before get it on your travel bucket list because it is worth going just a beautiful island so i'm gonna leave this video here before it gets way too long thank you again for tuning in to this travel vlog hopefully i'll have some more vlogs coming up soon don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys soon bye